Welcome to SonicWall Video Solutions. My name is Kritika Nakshatri. In this video, we will demonstrate how to find the explanation of drop code and module ID values in packet capture output. When we run a packet capture on the sonic wall, in the output that we see, there are two fields that display potentially useful diagnostic information in numeric format. The module ID field provides information on the specific area of the firewall or the UTM appliances firmware that handled a particular packet. The drop code field provides a reason why the appliance dropped a particular packet. In this video, we will demonstrate how to find the module ID and the drop code for packets, how to find the explanation for the drop code using the version of the firmware that is uploaded on the firewall, and finally, using the explanation of the module ID and the drop code in diagnosing certain problems. Today for demonstration, we are using a SonicWall NSA220 with the firmware version 5.8.1.15. Under the System tab, Packet Monitor, click on Configure and configure the packet monitoring tool as per your requirement. For demonstration, I'll set up the packet monitor to monitor only ping traffic. Once the configuration is complete, click on Start Capture. Since I've configured the packet monitor to monitor ICMP traffic, let me go ahead and try to ping sonicwall.com. You can see that the ping requests are timing out. If we now refresh the packet capture, you will see the packets with the packet type as ICMP and the status as dropped. Highlight the required packet and scroll down the page to the packet detail area. Here, if you scroll down the packet details, you will see the drop code and the module ID. Make a note of the same. Here, we can see the module ID as 26 and drop code as 39. Once you've obtained this, verify the firmware version on the sonic wall. In our case, it is 5.8.1.15. Next, go to the site support.software.dell.com. Under the Support section, go to the Knowledge Base. Choose SonicWall NSA Series or SonicWall TZ Series. Here, you can search by the firmware version that is on your SonicWall appliance. For example, 5.8.1.15. The second article in the search result is Explanation of Drop Code and Module ID Values in Packet Capture Output 5.8.1.15 firmware. Click on the same and you will get to the article that gives you the module ID and the drop codes for the firmware version specified. Now, in the packet that we previously saw, the module ID is 26, which is network, and the drop code is 39, which is enforced firewall rule. So we now know that the ping packets are being dropped due to an enforced rule on the firewall. If we go back to the sonic wall, under Firewall, Access Rules, set the view style as All Rules, and then click on Action in order to sort by the action. Here, the second rule that shows up is LAN to WAN, any source, any destination, service, ping, action is set to deny. So this is the rule that is blocking all the ping traffic from LAN to WAN. Disabling this rule should solve our issue. We are now able to ping a number of sites like software.dell.com and google.com and so on. Also, if you get back to the packet monitor utility on the sonic wall interface, you will see that the packets are now being forwarded. In this way, based on the module ID and the drop code, we can troubleshoot a number of issues that come up. This brings us to the end of this video on how to find the explanation of drop code and module ID values in packet capture output. To learn more about Dell SonicWall security products, please visit dellsoftware.com slash solutions slash network hyphen security. For more video tutorials, visit dellsoftware.com slash support. I hope this has been informative and thank you for viewing.